Hi, this is Dave, Fellow Running Guide. Welcome to another navigation task. And this is another one where you've got to look at a photograph, uh, compare that with a map and see if you can work out where the photo was taken and can you identify the feature circled. So we're looking for this area here, circled in red. So there's the photograph. And there is the map. So let's go back to the photograph and see what we can see, what we're looking at. Well, we're looking down an obvious rocky or scree covered area, down in towards um, a prominent summit. Again, looks like it's covered in scree. And the ground from that summit as we look to its left drops down to a saddle and then starts to rise up the other side extending down from that summit back towards us slightly the ground drops and then flattens off here and maybe rises again to the point that we're looking for there coming down from this saddle here we can just about see a stream that's running parallel to the ridge coming down and that disappears out of sight there we can't see how far it extends um, and then beyond the summit and the ridge the ground drops away looks like that drops away steeply um, into a valley and then up the other side here we've got a prominent shadow and that's being cast by this high ground just off the photo to the right now i've said in the um in the little test before that this photo was taken in the early evening so that is a big clue as to what direction we're looking in the immediate foreground just to the left of the photo bottom left we've got this looks like a man-made feature here see these rocks built up so this looks like might be some kind of cairn and then just for interest's sake out into the distance we've got this very prominent um, a-shaped mountain that's going to be way off the map but i'll come back to it at the end just to identify it just for interest's sake so if we go back to the map see if we can make any sense of it I mentioned that shadow and the fact that the photo was taken in the early evening. So we know that in the northern hemisphere, the sun goes down in the west. So that shadow would be cast by the sun over in the west or west southwest, shining. So the sun is over here to our left, on the left of the map, um, shining over towards the east so the sun is over here somewhere now that shadow the way that shadow was facing tells us that we must be looking with the sun over uh, over and behind our right shoulder really so we can't be um, looking from north to south and we can't be looking from east to west we can't be looking from south to north because that shadow wouldn't fit so we've got to be looking somewhere in a look in a roughly easterly or southeasterly direction for that shadow to be cast the way it is so let's just go back and have a look at that shadow and see see what i mean so there's the shadow so the sun's got to be behind us to our right as we are looking. OK, so that gives us some idea. What about the features that we're looking at? So we were on um, high ground with scree in front of us looking down onto a scree summit. Now we've got Ben Nevis here. We can't be looking down onto that because that's the highest point um, in the UK. So we, you know, we, we we could be on that looking down, but we couldn't be looking onto it. So 
what about here, Anak Beg? Well, that's a high point, so we can't be looking down from Carnmore Jerag onto it because that point there is lower than that. I can't be anywhere on the ridge looking down onto Anak Beg again because we'd be, wouldn't be looking down, we'd be looking up. So that rules that out. Anything else? Could we be looking onto, and apologies for my pronunciation, I'm going to have a go at it. Could we be looking at Stob Corrie Belech? Well, this ground here is 1,150, sorry, 1,200 metres there, so it could be looking onto that. But just looking at the shape, we've got this ring contour here, this plateau. Now that is actually higher than the summit there, so that doesn't make sense. If we were looking that way, we'd have high ground before the summit and not the other way around. So that's not quite right. What about Skura Buick? Could we be looking into that from this area? Well, we've certainly got this scree here. The black dots indicate scree. We've got a summit and then it drops down to the northeast to this saddle here and then it starts to rise again so that would work. Also coming down heading west off the summit it drops down and then we've got this distinctive plateau here with a little ring contour on it so that makes sense. Let's just have a, another look at the photo. So could that be coming down here onto this flattening and then onto a little ring contour there? So it makes sense. What about this stream here going up into the scree and into the saddle? Could we see that? Well, there we've got the stream up, up into the draining from the saddle and then down in. So that makes sense so far. So where could we be looking at it from? Well, we could be on this ridge here, looking, we have to be higher up than 963. So we could be looking from there. Could we be beyond looking a little bit further? Now, one of the troubles with trying to do this with photographs is it's very difficult to get an idea of distance uh, and perspective and we get a foreshortening effect from the photograph but we're looking for scree and possibly a man-made feature so if we're on somewhere on this ridge here there's no scree identified we've got rocky ground but there's no scree symbol what about further back well we could Look at here, we've got rocky ground, but again, not necessarily scree. Um, what about looking for a man made symbol of a cairn? So we've got a cairn there, but we couldn't be there looking over Ben Nevis. We've got cairns here, but again, they're on the wrong side of the summit. We've got a cairn there. So could it be that? If I actually zoom in a little bit, we might get a, a bit of a better idea. So I can zoom in with this map software. Again, I'm using Enket mapping software. See if that gives us a, a better look. So I said there's no scree on here. But what about here? We've got quite a lot of scree all the way around here. And elevation wise, this would be. Okay, so we're about um, 1,000 meters here, so we're certainly still above that. We've got a man made feature there, look, a cairn, and we've got scree just in front of it. So, would it be possible for us to be stood on that cairn there, looking across to here with the feature of that ring contour being there. Well, yes, we would. 
as I mentioned, the foreshortening effect of the photograph doesn't show us this drop into this valley here and then up the other side and across into that. So that is it's quite tricky, but that is actually where the photo was taken from and what we were looking at. Now I mentioned that um, summit way in the distance, but another thing just before then is the shadow that we can see. Now the shadow, oops, let me, sorry, let me just get rid of that. The shadow is actually cast by Binion Beg. It's cast over onto this um, onto this ridge here. So this is Binion Beg up just out of sight onto the right, and it's cast just onto the ridge over into the um, to the east beyond it. So that is what we're looking at. There, the shadow cast there. Um, in terms of the mountain way off in the distance, some people recognize it was Shihalian. So we're looking over to that. Now, if I bring the map right the way over, it's actually over 50 kilometers away. But by looking at it and we look at the shape of it, we finally get there. We can see. If we look at the contours, the very distinctive shape, and we're looking end on to it, so steeply up and then steeply down the other side, which gives it its very um, pointed A shape as we're looking. So anyway, that was the answer to the task. We were looking across from the um, the ridge, let's just go back all the way across, just zoom out a little bit so we can get it back. Yeah, so we were looking along that line to Skura Vuich and the little ring contour was the feature that we were looking for. So a bit of a tricky one that one compared to last week's, but certainly worth looking at. Um, I hope you got it right. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, thanks for watching. Look out for more of these navigation challenges. Bye for now.